In chapter 41 of Great Expectations, Magwitch explains everything to a flabbergasted Herbert. Pip takes Magwitch to the apartment he's rented him, and then returns to his own residence. There, Pip talks to Herbert about what is to be done. A distraught Pip states that he cannot take any more money from Magwitch and wants to disengage himself from the former convict. However, if he does separate himself from Magwitch, Pip fears the former convict will do something rash and get arrested for returning to England. Because of what Magwitch has done for him, Pip does not want him to go back to prison. Herbert suggests that Pip take Magwitch out of the country and then figure out the best way to break from him. Pip agrees that this is a good idea. In Chapter 42 of Great Expectations, Magwitch recounts to Pip and Herbert the story of his life. He grew up in poor circumstances, never knowing who his parents were. Many treated young Magwitch as an outcast, and he spent his young adulthood in and out of jail. As an adult, Magwitch took whatever work he could find. Some of it was legal, some wasn't. Eventually, a swindler named Compasson asked Magwitch to become a partner in crime. Hungry and desperate, Magwitch agreed. Compasson had received a decent education and dressed like a gentleman. Compasson and a friend of his named Arthur had once made a fortune swindling a rich lady. Compasson lived a life of crime, assisted by Magwitch, and eventually the pair were arrested. However, the jury became biased against Magwitch because he looked and expressed himself much like a rough, lower-class man, while Compasson carried himself and spoke like a gentleman. Because Compasson denied any direct connection with the crime, the jury sentenced Magwitch to 14 years and Compasson to only seven. An outraged Magwitch swore revenge on Compasson. Magwitch managed to escape the prison hulk onto the marshes, and that's when he met Pip. But when Magwitch learned that Compasson had also escaped, he tracked him down to prevent him from going free. At the end of Magwitch's talk, Herbert writes a note to Pip, stating, young Havisham's name was Arthur. Compasson is the man who professed to be Miss Havisham's lover. That rich lady he'd swindled a fortune out of was, in fact, Miss Havisham.